are getting a better idea of possible renovations at Paycor Stadium. We've been covering this for more than a year now. We now know this could include a focus outside of game days. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian live at Paycor Stadium. Anna, this is still in the early stages. It is Tanya and uh, Hamilton County Commissioner's President Alisa, Alicia Reese told me today that the meeting about Paycor Stadium was about fact finding today. The commissioners, they're still waiting on a master plan from an outside firm they've hired. That'll give them options for renovation. What you see when you go to a game at Paycor Stadium could change. Renovation plans are still in the early stages, but the Hamilton County Commissioner's focus with these renovations became clearer Tuesday. You have a, we have an asset that cost us 365 days. We've got to have events happening as many days as possible. Hamilton County taxpayers fund Paycor Stadium. The Bengals lease it from the county and that lease is said to expire in 2026. So as the county commissioners prepare for negotiations, they're also preparing renovation plans with the Bengals. Within five, six years, you will have been eclipsed by every other NFL stadium and the fans are not going to enjoy the experience. The county and the Bengals hired an outside firm to evaluate Paycor Stadium for upgrades. About a year ago, we learned basic repairs to the stadium could cost about $490 million. This could include fixing steel rails and ramps, replacing seats, and upgrading electric and plumbing systems. The master plan that hasn't been released yet will include upgrade options. WCPO obtained an early version of the plan last summer. It had ideas like standing room only decks and drink rails, field goal and end zone cameras, and changes to seating. But Tuesday, the commissioners discussed wanting to increase the use of the stadium for non-NFL events like concerts. They also want to integrate the stadium with the banks and downtown more. It becomes a vibrant part of the community. It's not an island to itself that's only used on game day. Building a new stadium isn't completely out of the question for the commissioners either. Tuesday, they asked for the master plan to include options for a new stadium and for renovations to the current stadium. Now, in addition to the commissioners having to decide which renovations to make, they also have to figure out how much it'll cost and how much of that cost will be on the shoulders of taxpayers. For now, at Paycor Stadium, Anna Izelian, WCPO 9 News.